Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you would like to see how I created these, then keep on watching. Hello! Okay, so I'm using Ink London's Fit Tips in Almond Shape. Nail Sugars Neon Pigments, Nail Sugars Neon Purple, Apple Teeny, Neon Yellow, Neon Pink, Neon Orange, don't know what that was, uh, Snow White and Cashmere and Urban Graffiti, also needed in their base coat and top coat, and a fluffy brush. <laughs> so I have already prepped my tips, so I buffed them. Um, I'm now going to put on two coats of colour on each and I'm going to get rid of that fuzzy. So I'm going to do the thumb and the ring finger white and the rest of them I'm going to use cashmere. So I'll do just one coat on camera because I don't want to bore you with just watching me painting gel polish on nails. Really. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I have a little announcement to make. I'm so excited. Ah! So good. So good. But I'll tell you about it in a wee bit. <laughs> Keep watching and you'll find out. <laughs> well, you probably already know what, what I'm going to be doing, but you don't know how you're going to find out about that. How to go about it, how to enter, you know. The giveaway. <laughs> I'm doing a joint giveaway! <laughs> so I've just went and stuck some base coat on my palette. I'm using my Natalie Muggridge Detailer brush and I've given the white nails um, a coat of matte, ultra matte top coat. So I'm just going to take some of that base coat on my detailer brush and create a line. I'm not going to cure that as I want to sprinkle some glitter like so. Making sure that I cover that entire line. Try not to touch it because you don't want to smear that line. Um, yeah so I'm just going to do that and then cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds. Giving it a good dust off and then I'm going to continue doing that down the nail and now my dog's going off its head because my children are going out a walk <laughs> yeah so I'm going to just continue that down the nail and um, just alternating the colours I will um, encapsulate this glitter because it just wouldn't go down well with Minnie so I don't think she'd like that textured feeling and the roughness but you can keep it like that if, if that doesn't bother you or your client nothing wrong with just leaving it the way it is um, but I wouldn't use the base coat to sprinkle the glitter into I would either use like I think I would probably use the high shine and the white top coat if that makes sense so I'm just gonna keep on doing that all down the nail So the giveaway is a joint giveaway with the lovely Elaine from Nails by Elaine J. So um, we're both going to be doing this. Um, it will be up around 6pm GMT um, and it will be massive. It is a really big giveaway. It's been sponsored by the lovely Karen from Neil Sugar. She's amazing. Um, and we recently became admins, part of the admin team in uh, Neil Sugar. So she thought it would be nice to get a wee giveaway to celebrate. So I'm so, so grateful, but I'm so excited for you all to take part in this and be in with a chance of winning this amazing prize um, so yeah you'll have to come back later today to find out what that is and how to go about 
um, entering the giveaway. So the lovely Elaine, she started our YouTube channel a couple of weeks ago. Um, her work is beautiful. Um, I say M quite a lot, don't I? I need to stop doing that. We were actually talking about that, that when you listen back to what you've said in these videos, all you hear is yourself repeating the same words. And mine's is M and so. <laughs> and it annoys me. <laughs> I don't like listening to my voice at the best of times, but when I keep repeating the same thing over and over again, it's a bit annoying. And I'm trying to be aware of that. <laughs> but like I was saying, Elaine is lovely. Um, oh, I did it again. She's lovely. And her Instagram and YouTube is awesome. Yes. Um, the Oh, I actually don't know how to stop doing that. The green glitter that I used is Apple Teeny. I didn't have the neon green, so I used that. If I had the neon green, I would definitely have used that because it would be better in this set for the brightness of the, the colour. Because these are all neons apart from that one. I am definitely going to have to buy that. But the thing is, when you go to Nail Sugar to buy things, you don't just buy one thing, you buy about 20. <laughs> Never have too much glitter. Finally, I am doing the last stripe. I had to do one extra on this one, so I just, start, I just finished with what I'd started with. Because obviously it's bigger than the ring finger nail. Woohoo! That's that done. Okay, I'm going to base coat the three cashmere nails. Look at the colour of my hands with pigments. Can you tell I'd already used them? So I, I kept this in to show you. There was wee clumps in this. And if you watch, it clumps up on the actual base coat. So I had to wipe that off and redo this. So base coat, cure, and then get some of that on your fluffy brush. Just check that there's no clumps and just gently pat that across and feather it up. You can build this up. You can, once you've done that, put some more base coat, but float that base coat over the top because if you don't, you're going to drag that pigment when you're uh, brushing it on. Just float it over the top, cure it, come back, put an extra bit of pigment on where you need it. Um, and that's it really. I watched Kirsty Meekin do this technique the other day and I tried it out and everybody was loving it. So I thought I had been asked on TikTok if I could do um, a tutorial on it. So that's why I did this set this week. Um, but I did watch Kirsty Meekin doing this. And I've also seen Not Polished do something similar with acrylic. The purple one is definitely the hardest one to blend, I would say. But I think that's the same for anything with pigments that's purple. It is always the hardest one to, to work with and get right. So... Um, but just take your time. No rush, just take your time, build it up, get that fade working for you and then that's it. But you definitely need this kind of fluffy brush to do this because I tried it with a, a kind of old makeup brush I had and it didn't work. So when I used this, it worked perfectly. So there we go. So I'm just going to matte top coat these made a wee mistake there don't know if you spotted that I was base coating it <laughs> anyway I fixed it and then I've matte, coat matte top coated sorry these nails see we all make mistakes and I am the dory of the human race 
So I encapsulated this with um, rubber top coat and then I've just buffed it to make it all smooth again. Um, I decided to keep it matte. This is what it looks like shiny, so if you like that, you can keep it that way. Or if you just wanted it sugared, like I said before, keep it that way. Um, and then this is the final results. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a wee thumbs up and please consider subscribing. If you do, don't forget to click the bell. That will notify you whenever I put up any videos. Um, which is really important today because obviously I will be putting on a wee video about the giveaway. So yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that and I hope that you take part. And honestly, it's an amazing giveaway. You're, it is really, really good. I am actually so pleased that I get to give this to you with Elaine. So thank you very much and stay creative.